Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am going to be showing you guys this amazing oxtail recipe ever. It's so, so, so delicious. I can't wait for you guys to see how it's done. But if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and let's begin. All right guys, here is the oxtail. We are about to season it. I will leave the measurement down below for you guys, so please check that out. Don't be alarmed if you notice the color of the oxtail is a little bit, you know, weird, not really. It's because I wash it with lime vinegar and I poured some hot water to it. Just to make sure my oxtails are nice and clean and don't taste too gamey, if you know what I'm saying. But once I am done washing it, I am going to season. To season it, I pour a little bit of olive oil on there. Then we are going to start adding our seasoning. This right here is a thing we call a piece, a Haitian seasoning. It's like a green seasoning. It's mixed with scallion, garlic, parsley, all of that good stuff. I do have a recipe on how to make it. I will leave it below for you if you are interested. And also here we have about three cloves of garlic. I do like a strong garlicky taste in my oxtail so we're going to add that in there and also we have some seasoning i have salt pepper adobo seasoning with a little bit of creole seasoning as well next we're going to add some fresh thyme to add some fresh flavors to this oxtail you gotta have thyme and parsley as well now i also have some soy sauce you are going to pour that in and also i'll be adding some worcestershire sauce in there as well All right, now I am going to be adding some ketchup. Just add that in there. All righty. And now you're going to give that thing a nice mix, okay? Mix it very well. Also, if you want, you can place this in the fridge for about an hour or two, even overnight if you like, okay? Now, the next part is what a lot of people have trouble with. That's why most people that doesn't really know how to cook oxtail go for browning. However, there's nothing wrong with using browning, but this is the way that I've been making oxtail. So I am going to show you guys the step that I take to make it if you want to make it exactly the same way I am making it. So I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of oil to my cast iron. Then we are going to add about two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. The brown sugar is what's going to give it that nice dark color. So I'm going to pour that in and start stirring it. All right, now I am ready to place my oxtail in. As you guys can see, the brown sugar is completely dissolved. The cast iron is 
piping hot you do want that to so you can have a nice color on your oxtail so i am going to place the oxtail right in so what we're going to do right now is sear the oxtail so they can have a nice you know golden brown color on them So I'm going to I'm going to allow that to fry for about I'll say two minutes until one side is nice and golden brown. You can see that it's already looking good. Just flip it over and allow the other side to get nice and golden brown. Now that both sides are golden brown, I am going to be adding in my veggies. I'm using onions and red bell peppers and orange bell peppers. You can use green bell peppers as well. Just add that in there and also the seasoning from the bowl that I seasoned the oxtail in. I am going to pour that goodness right in there and give that a nice stir. Now before I added my water, I am going to let the veggies get softened a little bit before I start adding any water or any chicken broth. All right, now it's time for me to add my water. You can use beef broth or chicken broth for this recipe. However, I'm just going to pour in some water into the bowl that I was marinating the oxtail in. Also, you guys notice I added one scotch bonnet because I do like it spicy. Okay, so I added that in. It's very, very spicy. So now I'm going to add my water. Now, you can see the water is not enough. As the water started to uh, decrease I am going to be adding more water in about I ended up adding about 10 cups of water whenever I notice the water is getting low I keep adding more water so And once it is done cooking, this is the result. It's nice and tender. The meat should be falling off the bone. I could have let it boil for about 30 more minutes to, you know, completely making the meat falling off the bone, but I'm ready to eat now. And basically guys, this is the result. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please leave a like for me. Don't forget, leave a like. That helps me out a lot. YouTube will push the video out to more people once they notice more people like it. And also subscribe if you're new here. I upload new videos here almost every day. Don't miss out. Good, delicious recipe. Definitely subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.